Hey guys, this is Will Moore, your host with Somewhere in America, and I'm just letting you guys know that I am back. I know I've been gone for a while, but today, guess what? It is all about cars and brides and grooms. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, it's about it's about brides, it's about brides, grooms, and cars. Today I am at the 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 antique auto uh, museum right here in Hershey, and we're we just finished doing the ceremony. The bride and groom are just fantastic. This place is amazing. As all of you know, y'all know I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and so and my father was with Chrysler Corporation. Cars all my life. Look at some of the details on the table. One of the things I want to tell you guys is that the first thing I do is that when I get ready to get started with doing the wedding, and when I finally get here after everything is settled down, the lighting in here, the ambient lighting is really cool. So I'm going to try to retain a lot of this ambient lighting, even though I got some white ceilings that I can bounce off of when they get ready to do um, start the reception, start dancing. That's not going to be a big deal. But I want to try to retain a lot of the ambient lighting. So I'm going to be jacking that ISO up. Okay, probably maybe 2000. And, I'm, and something that I generally don't ever do, I'm gonna be using a lot of on camera flash. So it's gonna be some great, it's gonna be some real cool images. But I like to also, too, when I first get here, is to make get a, a view of the whole room, take a picture of everything in the room. I like to get a lot of the detail shots. I mean, this stuff here is like priceless. Look at this over here, right here. I mean, you got, you got the tow truck over here. Uh, you got all of the old, all of the all of the old cars here. The Fords. I mean, look, you got a 1917 Pierce. Uh, this is a runabout. You got the old uh, Ford Model T, the Coca-Cola truck. I'm telling you guys, it is amazing. I cannot wait to just get started with taking more images. I'm gonna be taking some special images with the bride and the groom in the, in certain cars in certain places. If you look over there, you'll see where it says, uh, uh, I guess it's Flow In uh, Cafe. Let's walk over here. Check out this GT. Wow. The curators, come on, a little closer. Come on, a little closer. Come on, a little closer, cameraman. Come on, play closer. The curator of, of the uh, museum has told me that there's certain places, places that we can also um, shoot in the, inside the cars also, but they said definitely I can do something here. So I got a great idea about with my bride and groom and utilizing this soda shop right here. So I'm gonna try to get, I gotta get my lighting out. I'm gonna put maybe a couple of gels on there. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna tell y'all guys right now, it is going to be fantastic. Let's go ahead and take a look. Wow, look at this. This is gonna be so cool. This just brings you back. This is so nostalgic. It is like, I mean, just Americana all written all over this place. So, hey, the menu is it's gonna be fantastic. So I cannot wait to get to that part. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a shot of the whole room. Um, just I'm gonna do when I when I do that, I use a wide angle. I'm gonna do it like a landscape so that I can get a nice, nice look of the whole place. Wow, there is nobody down here. And then we'll go ahead and I'll get a whole lot of shoot throughs with the um, a lot of shoot throughs with the uh, cocktail hour. And then um, as as everything progresses, I'll show you a couple of things that I do with my bride and with my groom. I'm going to be going really low key on this wedding because I got some really ideas with these cars that I want to incorporate as far as the editing is concerned. It's going to be really really nice. So guys, I will talk with y'all guys in just a hot second.
Okay, guys, so hey, we've already taken some shots of the bride, the groom, the bridesmaids, the bride, the groomsmen, all of them over at that little diner that we were just talking about over there. We also did something that was really, really interesting that was on um, that was on the bus. And as you and I showed you guys all those buses earlier. And I'm sorry that we didn't get a chance to actually show you, uh, you know, me join, just doing behind the scenes and showing you. But I'm going to show you the images and I'll show you where I have my lights set up at. And I use, all I did is I did, I used one speed light, okay? I used one speed light. Um, I used a wide angle lens, um, a 19 millimeter. Uh, sometimes I think I switched off to the 50 millimeter. But um, what I did is that I put a grid on there because what we did is we came on this bus. And let me show you what this bus looks like. Okay, so if you guys can see this bus, man, this was like a really, really cool bus in which to do this. What I did is that I had the bridal party to kind of sit as if they were just different passengers. And I had the, I had the, the bride and the groom to sit in these seats. And I had my, my, my speed light with the grid just focused on them. Because I told you that what they wanted, they wanted a type of newer look, a more of a, a 40 style look. Um, if you see my groom, you'll see that he had um, he had his his hat on. I thought this bus would have been neat. He had, a, but he had his hat on the way he was dressed. It's kind of like a 50, a 40s or 50 style look. Um, we had everybody on the bus, and it is it is really all the images just really really popped as you can see right there. So. Um, what we're doing now, the bride and the groom, they've gone to their cocktail hour. They're kind of enjoying themselves. We've gone through a lot of images. Um, we even did something with this old, with this old um, car right here. And it, it, this was really, really neat right here. We got a real good look with this particular car right here. We had the door open. It was really, really nice. We had everything all set up. They were sitting in the back seat, uh, smooching, kissing, looking like they're riding, like they're waiting on the driver. It was fantastic. Nice, low-key shots. That's the way I really wanted to go. I had discussed it with my bride and my groom this time. We really wanted to go that way with them, I mean, with this particular wedding, and I wanted everything to be dramatic. Now, what I've done is that for we're getting ready to get ready for the reception. And I'm really, really happy because in this particular reception, that's all right. <laughs> in this particular reception, these cats got a live band. And the drummer has been over here practicing. They got a bass. Look at the bass players coming in. Man, you, look. Thank you. So he's got his bass and, and the drummers over there have been kind of doing a few things. I went ahead and set up my lighting. I do have a white ceiling that I'm going to bounce off of because I want to get a nice, clean look when they begin to announce them coming in and all my dancers. So right here, I've already went ahead and done all my settings, so I'm ready to go. Let me tell you what my settings are gonna be. Okay, so this is the way I'm gonna go. Now, most photographers, wedding photographers, you got a lot of lenses ranging from a, set of a 24 to 70, uh, 2.8. Uh, um, you have a 70 to 200, 2.8. Generally, you dream with a lot of prime lenses. I don't, always, I don't own a lot of prime lenses. But what I do have is that I, I know what to do with, with, with my reception lighting. And this is how I set it up. What I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to have my camera set up at um, 1 200th of a second. So that way I can go ahead and catch, that, that, catch all of that, that, that action. I'm going to be at f2.8. I'm going to be, I'm going to have my ISO jacked up to about 2000, okay? I'm going to be shooting TTL, that's through the lens, all right? Now, y'all thinking, well, that's, that's strange. Why is he doing that? Why is he not going manual? No, I'm going TTL, okay? But I'm going to be two TTL, and I'm going to be at minus 0 0.07, minus 0 0.07, okay? And generally, if I was shooting with, my, with the 24 to, uh, 24 to 70, I would have the zoom, um, um, on the land, on my um, speed lights at 70, at 70 millimeter. But I'm going to so I'm shoot that. And I've already taken a test, and I'm telling you, the lighting looks fantastic. One of the great things about having some kind of white wall or something to bounce off of that's going to be fantastic. So I'll talk with y'all in just a hot second.